Hmm. <laughs> Yesterday we discussed about primary memory. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no, primary memory can be divided into two types. Uh, that is random access memory or read only memory. Okay, so here only read operation can be performed, no write operation. Okay. By yes, normal by normal user means like us, we can't write in this ROM. Okay, inside in this RAM, uh, accessing from any two location, two location, take the same amount of the time. Okay, take the same amount. Mm -hmm. Of time. This random access memory can be divided into two types. One is SRAM or static RAM. Example is registers inside your CPU and cache memory. This dynamic RAM, example is again the RAM or main memory. Okay. Yes, sir. Again, this ROM is divided to P ROM, E P ROM, and then E E P ROM, and then flash ROM. And we define these four types of ROM. P ROM is you can write only once, only once. <laughs> And after that, you can't write. In EP ROM, you can write again, but using the UV rays. That's the problem. In EP ROM, you can use the electrical signals to erase and then write, but only one byte at a time. And in, in flash ROM, you generally 256 bytes a time. Okay. Thank you. So this is the revision for the mm -hmm. previous class. Now, in the today class, we discuss about this hard disk, SSD drive, and flash drive. I'm going to skip the CD DVD because it's now it's outdated. So I'm not going to discuss about the CD and DVD, although it is a kind of a secondary memory. Okay. Yes, sir. So, the agenda for today is solid state drive, hard disk drive, Same. and flash drive. And these three are the secondary memory. So, what is SSD drive? So, SSD drive is also known as solid state device. Or SSD means solid state drive, or solid state device, or solid state disk. Okay? This is the first thing. The same name. Yes, solid, sir. solid state is same. Then either you call it drive or call it device or call it disk. Okay. Yes, sir. This is a uh, solid state storage. Okay. Uh, data stored is persistent over time means after the turn off, you turn off your power, you power up, the data is there. Data is not going to be removed. Okay. SSD lacks physical spinning disk. Okay. So inside your hard disk, mm -hmm. you have a, a, your disk is spinning like in CD. Okay. But in SSD, there is no spinning disk. It's a solid state. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, SSD has quicker access time and lower latency. Okay. Its access time is less in comparison to the hard disk. Okay. In comparison to hard disk and yes, lower sure. latency time. Okay. <laughs> okay. SSD devices store data into a semiconductor cell. Okay, 
what is semiconductor it is generally a transistor okay generally generally a semiconductor device is a transistor the ssd store data inside the semiconductor each cell can store either 1 bit or 2 bit or 3 bit or 4 bit based on these number of bits it's known as single level cell if it is one if it is two it is known as multi level cell if it is three it is known as triple level cell if it is four it is known as quad level cell so it's just the numbering system single multi triple quad okay then again next thing price per byte of data for ssd is higher than hard disk okay so price of ssd uh, per byte byte data inside ssd is greater than price of per byte inside your hard disk okay so sir with the um so 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 could it store more than up to four bits or it is just like a no, small example you know it's just a one cell one cell can store either one one bit two bit three bit or four bit but this device can have thousands and thousands of oh, oh, oh. okay so it may be 256 mm -hmm. gigabyte 512 gigabyte like that 128 gigabyte this is a normal size of your ssd device okay Mm -hmm. it's just a one cell one cell is store one two three or four bits but it consists of a lot of cell there are number and number of cells but the price of this ssd drive is higher than price of hard disk okay okay let's move to the hard disk drive again hard disk drive is also known as hard disk or just hard drive okay so up to this point whatever you study these are all are semiconductor devices okay other name of semiconductor device is electronic device Okay. Yes, sir. So up to this point, all the memory you study is the semiconductor device. Hard disk is the first device that is not a semiconductor device. It's an electromechanical storage device. Okay. And again, your CD DVD mm -hmm. is also a form of electro uh, electromechanical storage device. Okay. and since it is electromechanical storage device its speed is less okay yes sir but uh storage capacity is high okay hard disks are again non volatile memory again this is required because if this is secondary storage okay and any yes. secondary storage is non volatile means data persist over the time this is the meaning of non volatile data persist over time any question up to this point why electromechanical storage device what exactly the electric mechanical means oh so, uh, actually uh, you see about the uh, cd you already know how the cd works this is just a circular disk and there is a head over it that can read or yes or no there is a lens that can read the things from the, this uh, cd device yeah so, so this cd is the mm -hmm. mechanical thing okay and this head is something electrical yes sir this data is stored in the form of magnet magnetic uh directions okay uh, a form of magnetic direction therefore its combination of electrical thing and mechanical thing 
because these these plates are mechanical thing. so their position on electromechanical instead of electronic okay yes sir yes or not yes sir okay okay so ss uh, ssb completed hard disk done next thing is flash drive okay mm -hmm. i am not going to discuss about the cd dvd but uh, okay so flash drive is uses flash rom type of the memory okay you already know flash rom is a type of rom mm -hmm. where you can write in form of 256 byte per uh at a time yes or no yes sir yes so your usb devices or usb flash drive uh, a type of flash rom memory again it is a semiconductor memory you can remove it removable and rewritable you can write again and again compared to the cd okay cd is the full form of cd is compact disk okay. so in the question if you see compact disk so compared to the cd you are using this new plus it is smaller faster has more storage capacity okay Mm -hmm. I already discussed this thing in the previous class. Ah, uh, okay. What is the size of register? Generally, thirty-two to fifty-four bit. Okay. Some registers may mm -hmm. size up to one twenty-eight. Byte, well, but only if you are just like this type, okay? Then L1 cache, yes sir. Some 128 kV to 2 MB, up to 8 megabyte L2 cache, 16 to 32 megabyte. That is L3 cache. Up to this point. this thing is lie inside your cpu this is again inside the cpu okay what is the size of your dnf and these all devices are this way you don't require the refresh after a few milliseconds next memory is main memory that is dynamic random access memory Yeah. Then, size of this DRAM is four to eight gigabyte. Based on their system, four gigabyte or eight gigabyte. Like the system inside the lab has the eight gigabyte of DRAM. Okay. Yes, sir. Then, secondary storage, the hard disk, up to one one terabyte or two terabyte. so if you see the size starting from the bits or bytes to kilobyte megabyte gigabyte up to terabyte okay and the size physical size is just decreasing sorry physical size not decreasing physical size just increasing Okay, so your hard disk size is much greater than is the dynamic RAM. Okay, and the capacity is so physical size increasing, and capacity means storage capacity is also increasing. You already see from thirty two to one terabyte. Okay, up to this point of the time, these things lie inside your system. Means registers, cache. main memory or secondary memory these things are exist inside your 
computer system system what is this re remote secondary storage it may be a hard disk cloud storage yeah it may yes cloud storage okay but at the cloud uh, server these are the form of hard disk or maybe ssd they implemented okay and the the time required to move data from this place up to your computer system is depends on your internet speed okay ah uh, as you move from bottom to top on this triangle your cost for byte means price money is increased and speed is also increased okay Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, yeah. If you register, hold word retrieved from the cache. Okay. So, data moved from the cache is known as word. It's just a unit. Okay. We use a different name at different level. Okay. So from the cache to the register, data move in the form of word, and this word is size of 32 to 64 bit. Okay, depend on your processor architecture. You see, 32 bit. My system is 32 bit or 64 bit. That is the meaning of word here. Okay. So data move from the L1 cache to the register is in the form of word. Generally, size is 32 to 64 bit. Data, <laughs> okay. So this thing here, and L1, L1, L2 to L1. This is known known as lines. Okay. What is lines? This is again a data, a bunch of data, sir. Okay. So L2 to L1, data moves in the form of lines. So L1 cache holds cache lines retrieved from L2 cache. Okay. Uh, CPU register holds words that move from the L1 cache to CPU register. L1 cache holds the cache lines move from the L2 cache. Similarly, L2 cache holds cache line that move from L3 cache. Okay. So inside the cache, this data is same data is known as lines. When it transfer from L1 cache to the CPU register, it's known as the word. Okay. L3 cache holds cache line retrieved from the main memory. Okay. Again, here it is known as line. Line. Okay. Main memory. Main memory holds disk block retrieved from the local disk. So from your hard disk to main memory, it is in the form of block. Okay, and local disk holds files retrieved from disk or remote network server. So, like in the cloud or it's in local, maybe it's local in the system. This is known as here file. Okay. So data inside your disk is no, is in the form of the files. When it moves to the main memory, it moves in the form of blocks from the main memory to the cache in the form of line. And in from the cache to CPU register is in the form of words. Any question? Words. No, sir. Straightforward. It's from file to blocks to line to words. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Some more points. Faster devices are. So faster devices are more expensive to build than their slower counterparts. Is like register. Cost of building a register is higher in comparison to the cache memory, is higher in comparison to the main memory. Okay, that is higher than the hard disk. Mm -hmm. This is the point. And uh, expensive here means in the terms of money only. Okay price 
larger storage devices are slower than the smaller storage device. So hard disk is the slowest and register is the fastest memory available. A typical register file stores only a few hundred bytes of information as opposed to billions of bytes in the main memory. Size of main memory to take four gigabytes, it means four inside your RAM up to 32 or 64 or some bytes inside your register. That's the point. The from the register file almost 100 times faster than from the main memory. Okay, so now your register is 100 times faster than your main memory. Okay, as okay, some more thing as semiconductor technology progress, this okay, this difference between your processor speed. Uh, processor speed and your memory speed. There is a huge gap between these two speeds. Okay, in your processor and memory speed. Yes, sir. So as the semiconductor technology, and if just if you uh, see the CD DVD is now outdated, replaced with your flash USB flash drive. Okay, hard disk is going to be replaced with your SSD. So we are moving from the mechanical devices to semiconductor or electronic devices. Yes. So as semiconductor technology progress, this processor memory gap, this speed gap continues to increase. You suppose that it's going to be decreased, but no, it's going to be increased. Why? Because it is easier and cheaper to make a processor run faster than <laughs> is to make main memory run faster. Okay, so your CPU speed is going to be much much faster than in comparison to your memory speed. Okay, I think yes. So Mark, we start today here at this point. Uh, uh,